Hi everybody, Fred Eckert with Chicago Title. A lot of people ask me about tax sales, buying tax defaulted property uh, because people have defaulted on their taxes. So um, I'm going to give you a little primer on this. This is going to apply primarily to Southern California. However, what I'm going to say will apply probably throughout most of the country, but you need to check your own county, check with your county tax assessor, recorder, clerk, or tax collector, and go on the web, take a look at it there. But I will say this, this is the biggest key for all of this is caveat emptor, let the buyer beware. Now, what happens with, with the tax sale? Well, I'm going to give you the Southern California one. In fact, the auction, the next auction for uh, Southern California and San Diego is going to be March 18th. And you want to check your own to make sure you know what the dates and so forth are. Um, plenty of information is available at the San Diego site, which is sdtrej, T-R-E-A-S, tax.com. You take a look at it and you'll find the information, the property list, and so forth. So what happens in one of these? Well, uh, in uh, California, a borrower has until 5 p.m. on the last working day prior to the sale to redeem the property. And what they have to do is if they're going to try to redeem it, they have to pay the uh, back taxes and they also have to pay the cost of the sale. They can do that basically with cash or a cashier's check or a money order or traveler's checks. They can't just give a regular check at that point if it's within 30 days. If it's outside of 30 days, they can use a regular check. Now, what does that mean to you? Could you go down and bid in these properties? Yes, but I'm going to go back to the idea of caveat emptor. Take a careful look, whatever state you're in, whatever